Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In a lot of scenario when we deal with models, we have a model for database and we might have a different model for API. And most cases what we do is we do conversion ourselves. And it is time consuming and sometimes it is just unnecessary code. Today I'm going to talk about a package which helps us doing that, meaning it takes care of conversion or mapping itself. And that package is TinyMapper. And I already installed that NuGet package. This is the NuGet package, TinyMapper. And it helps doing the conversion between objects. So for today's example, what I have is I have a person provider class and a person provider interface. It has a method get and get returns an array of DB person. Consider the DB person is the data coming from database. But for the purpose of this example, I am just returning an in-memory array. And the DB person has ID, first name, last name, street, city, state, and phone. And then I have a person processor. The person processor class implements I person processor interface. It has a method process. And in the constructor of person processor, I am injecting the I person provider. And the process method, what we do is we get the DB person for using the person provider. And then we find out the first person where the name, incoming name parameter matches the first name. And then we return a new person object where we create the person object from the DB person. So here we can say name is equal to name and then phone is equal to DB person that phone and so on and so forth. And this is where the mapper comes in. So here, instead of doing all these, all we can do is we can say tinyMapper.map and we can say we want to map the type person with the object DB person. And that is what it is doing. And then what we have is in the program, we added the dependency for person provider and person processor. And we have an API called person which takes string from the query string and it injects the I person processor and then it returns the person processor dot process the incoming name. Now one thing we have to do is we have done the mapping. We have done the mapping here using tinymapper.map but we also have to provide a binding. So here what we can do is we can do tinymapper.bind and for the bind, we provide the source, which is DB person, and the destination, which is person. And now this is going to try to do a auto binding. And for the auto binding, it is going to use the property names for matching, which is not going to work completely as our property names do not match. It is going to provide only the phone property because that's the only thing which is going to match. And now if we go here and we try it out, provide John, because that's one of the name there, we'll see that it is matching the phone, but nothing else is matching. So to achieve that, what we can do is this method provides a lambda function. So we can use that. And here we can say C dot bind and we can say source, source dot first name goes to destination dot name. And similarly, we can do the others. So we can, for address, we can say source dot street. And for phone, we can say source dot phone goes to destination for phone. But if you remember, the DB person model also has ID, street, and city. So what we want to do is we want to ignore this. So here we can say c.ignore, and we can say source.id. Source so we're going to ignore the ID. And similarly, we can ignore the city, and we can ignore the state. 
So now if we run, we will see the first name is coming in name, street is coming in address and phone is coming to phone. This is where we are providing the mapping. And now if we execute, we can see first name is coming in name, address, the street is coming in address and phone is for phone. But this is still not what we want. We want the name to be first name space last name, address to be street, city and state. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to provide a type converter. So we are going to create a new class called person type converter. And the person type converter is going to derive from the type converter class. And the type converter class is part of system.component namespace. And here we are going to override two method. We are going to override the can convert to and convert to. And con can convert to is pretty simple. We are going to say if destination type is equal to type of person because this is what we want to convert to. And for convert to, we get a context, we get a object, which is the source object and destination type. So here we'll have a simple implementation. We're going to say var We're going to say value as db person because that's the source. And then here we'll return new person. And this is where we'll have our logic. So we'll have name is equal to first name space last name and so on and so forth. An address is going to have street, city, and state. And then finally, what we have to do to tell the mapper that it should be using this type converter, we have to provide an attribute to the DB person class where we should tell that use a type converter and use the person type converter for conversion. That is all we have to do. So here we can do that. That's it. We don't have to go and change this anymore. It will be completely ignored. It will use the binding, but it is going to use the type converter for type conversion. So we can keep this code or we can delete this code. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep the code and run the application now. And this time we'll execute and we'll see the expected result. And as you can see, the result is as we expected. So as you can see, the tiny mapper is extremely simple to use and it can do auto mapping in most of the cases if attribute names or property names matches, but cases where property names do not match, we can either use a Lambda to do the matching or we can provide a type converter if we have complex type conversion. And in terms of performance, it is as fast as doing everything ourselves. So that is why I prefer this tiny mapper. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.